The Liberty Synchronized Skating Team have had a longer season than normal, but they have been happy to have it as they know many teams have not had the opportunity to even practice this year. This was a pretty, uh, a pretty difficult season, um, simply because of all the restrictions that we've had because of COVID. But I would say that as a team, it's really built us up and um, created a really good community. Changing our practices and competitions, a lot of our competitions went virtual this year and we had just a lot of like changes in our schedules just throughout the year as the pandemic was going on and as the pandemic was evolving. And you know, it's been a it's been a roller coaster, but I'm so thankful for every opportunity that's coming out of it. We had the opportunity to still practice all throughout the fall semester, which is a huge blessing to us and our team. Not every team had that opportunity. And then in the spring, we were still able to compete. We just participated in two virtual competitions. We also performed at our men's D1 hockey game, and then we have an ice show at the La Haye Ice Center coming up in April. For the Lady Flames, this season has been different as they competed this year, not in person, but virtually. We competed virtually, which did have its ups and downs because the, we didn't have the adrenaline that you'd normally have um, walking into a competition in a stadium full of people, which is really what I love about this sport, all the people that you get to see and getting to connect with the audience. We did get a taste of that with the hockey game, which was really nice. Definitely was a new experience. We had the opportunity to skate the program more than once, which is different than the competition feel. However, we did just have a deadline where we needed to submit the video, so we did still have a little bit of pressure to uh, finish the program as best we could by that date and get that sent in and um, get our scores back. Though this season was different for the skaters, they have had the opportunity to grow in their skills on the ice, as well as their chemistry and team camaraderie off the ice. This year we had a very young team. We had a ton of freshmen coming in. We have a lot of underclassmen, but we also have a few seniors on our team, as well as a grad student, and we were able to grow off of each other. We were all coming with different skills coming in, but we were still able to grow off of each other and help each other out in a positive way. We've definitely built up camaraderie as a team. Um, of course, all these girls are wonderful girls, um, so even without all the, all the things that we've had to go through, I think we still would have become really good friends. Um, but all of those things that nobody sees behind the scenes, the driving to early morning practices, um, and the getting off the ice and tying our skates together, that's really what's building our community. The skaters are now preparing to close out their year as they have one final skating show, Liberty's Exhibition of Hope, while also preparing for next season. Preparing for our exhibition coming up, it is, you know, it's such a blessing to have because we haven't had much of a season and we haven't had much of a crowd to perform to. And, you know, this is like our opportunity to perform with a crowd and to have people watch us in person. So we're preparing as much as we can for that. And we're just really excited to debut our program to other people. This year we had a longer season than we've ever had just with the extended time in the spring semester, which is good because we've been able to take the time to start working on things that we want to put in our program next year that we haven't had the opportunity to work on yet during the fall because we were focused on the program. So we're really kind of thinking forward now, um, still preparing for the ice show coming up, but we're taking some time to also prepare for hopefully moving up back to the collegiate level. Um, but yeah, looking forward to our spring show, being able to perform in front of a limited audience. Uh, so taking advantage of that opportunity as we close out the year.